Now, in Vermont, we look at the world a little bit different than the NRC does. And I am happy to say that our legislature looks at the world a little bit differently. As all of you know, as all of you know, the legislative, uh, legislature asserted their legal authority to make an independent determination of whether or not Yankee should be allowed to continue to operate. And the Vermont Senate spoke strongly, decisively, in a 26 to 4 bipartisan vote that the contract with Vermont Yankee should not be extended. Thank you, Vermont Senate. And let me say a word to some of the people who disagree with us about the future of Vermont Yankee. One of the issues that keeps appearing, and it is a legitimate issue, is about the issue of decent paying jobs which yes. currently exist. It's a real issue. We're in a recession and all of us want to protect decent paying jobs. So what I'm saying to Entergy is that the day after that plant is shut down, let's begin the decommissioning yeah. Yeah. process. Yeah. Let's give top priority to those workers at the plant today. And if we do that, there will be years of decent paying jobs for many of those workers. You heard a moment ago from the Attorney General about some of the legal aspects of the case between Vermont and Entity. Let me just say this. The law really is quite clear on this issue. And what the law says is that the federal government through the NRC has the responsibility, and it's a very important responsibility, to make sure the nuclear power plants in this country are as safe as possible. That is the function of the NRC. The NRC is not supposed to be an advocate for nuclear power. The NRC is not supposed to be an ally of the nuclear power industry. And what the Supreme Court, the old Supreme Court, stated back in 1983 is pretty clear. And what they said, let me just read you one paragraph from that decision in terms of states' rights. What they said is, and I quote, the legal reality remains that Congress has left sufficient authority in the states to allow the development of nuclear power to be slowed or even stopped for, econo <coughs> for economic reasons, end of quote. Yeah. In other words, the law is quite clear to my mind that above and beyond safety for economic reasons or other reasons, if the people of Vermont or any other state say that they believe their future is not with nuclear power, they have the right to shut those plants down. Let me be very clear, in my view, the federal district court that decided the Entergy versus Vermont lit litigation made a decision that was wrong on the merits. The court said Vermont's legislature was focused on safety and did not have the right to make its own determination about Yankee. But we all know, and the Vermont state legislature knows, there are a number of reasons above and beyond the safety issue that makes it legally right for the Vermont State Legislature to act and to shut down nuclear power. And there are a number of reasons. Let me just touch on a few. For example, one could argue that Vermont Yankee is simply not 
reliable. After all, it did suffer cooling tower problems in 2007 and 2008, including a cooling tower collapse, reducing output at the plant for several weeks. This accident cost Vermont utilities over $6 million when they had to go out and buy higher price electricity. And in fact, those utilities are now suing Entergy to recover their money. So reliability is an important issue. Furthermore, one could argue that Vermont Yankee is simply not economical. In fact, Vermont's largest utilities rejected contract offers from Entergy because they found energy providers that were providing electricity at a lower cost. The Vermont Electric Cooperatives Board, board voted nine to one against renewing a contract with Yankee. One could further argue that Entergy is simply not a trustworthy business partner. When a company testifies falsely under oath to the Vermont legislature, as Entergy did, that your plant does not have underground pipes, and it turns out that you do, in fact, have those pipes, and that they are leaking radioactive tritium, you have a trust problem. And let us all remember that even the previous governors, commissioner at the Department of Public Service, who supported Vermont Yankee, publicly questioned the trustworthiness of Entergy as a business partner for the state of Vermont. These are just a few of the legitimate non-safety issues regarding Yankee, which make it very clear to me that the state of Vermont does have the legal right not to extend Vermont's contract under federal law. But above and beyond, above and beyond all of that, I don't know about you, but I have a serious problem when this nuclear plant and nuclear plants all over this country produce extraordinarily dangerous radioactive and toxic waste every single day and they still don't know how to get rid of that waste in a permanent and safe way. It is irresponsible to continue producing that waste. issue that is very, very rarely discussed, but it is very important. And that's not just about Vermont Yankee, but it's about the nuclear power industry in general. And the point that I'm going to make is especially important when, as many of you know, virtually all of the Republicans in Congress, and unfortunately many Democrats as well, want to see the United States undergo a quote-unquote nuclear renaissance. And what they're talking about is the construction of at least a hundred new nuclear power plants. So here's the point to be made when you turn on the TV tonight and you can hear some of my conservative friends rant and rave about the big bad federal government, get the government off of the backs of the business community. Let the genius of free enterprise do what it wants to do. You hear that all the time? Well, let me tell you, if it wasn't for the fact that the nuclear power industry is one of the major welfare recipients from the federal government, it would be shut down tomorrow. don't know that. 
They don't know that nuclear power for the last 60 years and into the indefinite future, if we don't change it, is one of the major welfare recipients of taxpayer support in the United States of America. The nuclear power industry has received over the years $95 billion in federal funds for research and development. And right now we are struggling to renew relatively modest programs for wind, solar, geothermal, and biomass, which is opposed by the big money interest in Washington. $95 billion in research and development alone for nuclear power. The nuclear power industry, and many of you may not know this, is the beneficiary, beneficiary of a very, very expensive insurance program supported by the taxpayers of this country called the Price Anderson legislation. You all know what Price Anderson is? What Price Anderson is, is that if God forbid there is a major nuclear disaster in this country, which ends up costing hundreds of billions of dollars, or tens of billions of dollars. You know who's gonna pick up most of the cost for that? The taxpayers of the United States of America. It's us, it's us who pays. And what makes these federal subsidies even more distasteful is, as many of you know, the nuclear industry is controlled by a handful of large multinational corporations, just two of them. Exelon and Entergy control about a third of the nuclear industry in our country. So what I say to my friends who want more nuclear power, if you think it is such a great idea, why don't you go to Wall Street and the insurance companies and get them to invest in nuclear power? And do you know why? Do you know why they are not going to Wall Street and the insurance companies to get them invest to invest in nuclear power? Because Wall Street and the insurance companies are smart. They know that nuclear power is extremely risky. It is not a good investment, and they prefer to have the taxpayers of this country undertake those responsibilities. So let me, let me conclude by just saying this. In my view, and I think in the view of the vast majority of the people of our state, we understand the absolute necessity of, for Vermont, for America, and for the world, transforming our energy system away from nuclear power and away from fossil fuel. Yeah. We understand that when you look at safety issues, when you look at reliability issues, when you look at cost issues, where we should be investing is in energy efficiency. Yeah. Yeah. Vermont is leading the country, but we can and must do better. We should be investing in wind, solar, geothermal, and biomass. And when you do those things, we are going to be creating jobs right here in the United States of America. We are going to be breaking our dependence on foreign oil, and we're going to be lowering the cost of energy for the American people. My sincere hope, and I honestly believe that we can do this, is that in Vermont, if we shut down Vermont Yankee, if we move to energy efficiency, if we are aggressive about wind, solar, geothermal, biomass, and other emerging sustainable technologies, this small state can lead America in a new energy direction and lead the world in that direction. Thank you all very much.